Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to teach you some really useful keyboard shortcuts to use while you're using Bash in your command line. And these keyboard shortcuts are things that many people might overlook when you start and then you get into a situation and you find yourself uh, not you know, knowing the best way to do it, and you could become way more efficient with a couple of very basic keyboard shortcuts. So for instance, you might find yourself typing um, some code or typing some commands, right? And let's just say you're typing uh, CD and then uh, var, uh, maybe, I don't know, Let's just say we're going into sites, level up, and you realize that this isn't actually where you want it to go. And you find yourself holding back backspace, okay. And more importantly, uh, let's say you um, wanted to delete this. If this was a longer command, that's just gonna be a huge, huge pain to just hold the, the, the backspace key and just watch it delete. So what you can do is you can type a, uh, or you can use control U, and what that's going to do is take it from where the cursor is, and it's going to uh, clear from wherever the white cursor is, uh, all the way back to the beginning. So, for instance, if we're at the end here where you're normally typing, you can type control U, and it clears it all. Uh, likewise, if you were to just have it starting, maybe you didn't want it shown whatever this file was. This wasn't the right command, but you had the right file. You could also start with the, the cursor at the H and then do Control U. And you can see that it's deleted everything before the cursor. Now you can type freely as you would normally. Okay, well, what happens if, let's say, um, uh, let me just get rid of this with our control U, just like that. Let's say we are going to do a command and we're going to change directory into sites level up. I'm just using this as an example. But let's say that the command that we're going to run actually required sudo before it, and we know that it's requiring sudo. If you don't know, sudo basically allows you to use a root level permission. So basically, if you don't have access to modify something, as long as you have the password, you can use sudo and access or modify that file. Um, so you type that in before your command, right? Well, we want to add that to the front of this. And again, we could hold left like that and just uh, manually tab all the way to the front of our line and start typing. Or you could do Control A. Control A is going to just jump you to the very beginning. So Control U to delete up to the very beginning. Control A to jump to the very beginning. Now, you might want to write these down in a little cheat sheet until they're second nature, but uh, once you do them a lot, they just become sort of what you do. Now, uh, what about getting to the end of the line, right? Now, we want to add something to the end of this line. Now that we've modified, let's add it, we've added sudo here. We want to jump to the end. Well, that's control E, jumps to the end. So A, E. Uh, I'm sorry, I just hit R there. Um, let me get out of this. Okay, so control A, control E. Control U to clear it. Now, we just have one more that we're going to go through. And let's say uh, you did a command a few commands ago, and you can't remember what it was, or you don't want to retype it out, right? And so we went over before that you can hit up to tab through your previous commands. But let's say it's like 10 commands back. You don't want to have to hit up 10 times. So let's say uh, we're searching for this touch command, right? So let me just control U this so it's gone. And we're searching for touch. What we can do is do control R which I accidentally did last time, and allows you to search for your command. So I can type touch, and you can see that it's telling me touch hello.txt was the last touch command we ran. 
And likewise, if I hit up, it's going to go through the command before that. So we can say, yes, touch hello.txt. Uh, let's actually control this U out of here. When you do control R, and let's say we say touch, you can hit enter directly from here, and it's going to run this command. So you don't even have to do very much. Uh, looks like to even run this, uh, let's do control R. Yeah, okay, and hit enter. Now it's ran this touch yo.html and it's touched this file, it's created this file for us. So now we have a few uh, keyboard shortcuts that are gonna make your life a little bit easier and quicker when working in command line. You don't have to hit forward and backwards, hold delete, hit up a whole bunch. You just have com control U, control A, control E, and control R. I'm gonna post those commands in the comments or in the description of the video so you can have a reference in case you don't want to just watch this video every time you remember. But like like I said, write them down, um, use them all the time, and you'll get used to them in no time. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook on Level Up Tuts. Love to hear from you. See you in the next one. Bye.